Hello, I'm Jordan from AMP Global, and today I'm gonna to walk you through installing a backup camera and mirror replacement into this Jeep Wrangler. This camera makes every trip you take safer by giving you a full view of everything behind your Jeep. It features a replacement rear view mirror with a full HD screen that gives you a completely unobstructed view. The mounting bracket is specifically designed to minimize vibrations so your camera video stays completely stable and the zinc-infused dip spin coating protects it from all the elements. This is a pretty straightforward installation, but you are gonna have to do a little bit of disassembly. So we're gonna rate this one two out of four pry tools. Before we get started, here's a list of the tools that you're gonna need to complete this installation. A ratchet, sockets, and an extension. A screwdriver, crimpers, cutters, tape, Allen keys, a T27 and T20 Torx bit, zip ties, panel tools, a rubber mallet, and a heat gun. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is assemble our camera bracket so that we can put it onto the Jeep. Today, we're just gonna use this and this, but we do provide you with different mounting pieces. So depending on the spoke pattern of your rims, you're gonna be able to adjust this however you need to to fit your style wheels. On the camera bracket, there's two holes. The larger hole, you're gonna be able to feed the wire through, and then we'll go ahead and mount the camera. And then we can go ahead and put our camera bracket onto the wheel bracket. And now we're ready to go take the wheel off the Jeep and mount our camera. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove our wheels so we can mount our camera. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our camera bracket onto the Jeep. We provide you with these push nuts to hold this into place. They fit on there pretty secure, so you might need a rubber mallet so that you can bang them into place. There are two panels that we're gonna remove from the interior of the tailgate so that we can fish our wire through and plug our camera in. Now we're gonna go ahead and fish our wire through the hole in this tailgate where the factory wiring harness is already run. Now we're gonna go ahead and run our wire through the factory grommet here. I already went ahead and made a slit in my grommet so that we'll be able to tuck the wire in and we're not gonna pinch it when we put the grommet back in. Our camera does have a screw together water resistant connector, but if you do a lot of off-roading, you might wanna use the included heat shrink so you have additional protection against the elements. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the connection to our camera. There's a very small notch. You just wanna make sure that you line these two pieces up when you push them together. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert our camera wire into the slit that we made in the factory grommet. And then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our grommet. And again, if you need some additional weather resistance, you could go ahead and put a little bit of silicone around this slit just to make sure no water is gonna get inside your tailgate. Now we're gonna go ahead and zip tie our wire to the factory wire. We're gonna go ahead and continue to zip tie our wire along the factory wire here. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the trim around the seat belt so that we can gain access to a 10 millimeter bolt that's on the back side of this rear panel. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this 10 millimeter nut from behind this panel. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the two Torx bolts from the floor that hold our side panel in here. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this side panel. Now that we have our side panel removed, we're gonna go ahead and pull the carpet back and finish running our wire along the factory harness with a few zip ties to keep it in place. Now that we've mounted our camera and run our wire to the front of the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and disassemble the front so that we can get the mirror mounted and those cables run. So first we're gonna start by taking out this center piece here to access a seven millimeter screw. And then we're gonna go ahead and release the bottom of this so we can take our panel out, which is where we're gonna get our power from. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the glove box so that we can run some wires. You just have to squeeze it in to release the little clips and it'll pop right out. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the side of the dash here so that we have access to run our wires. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the fastener that's in the bottom hole of the A-pillar here. You don't need to remove the 10 millimeter that's in the top hole. 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove two Torx screws that are holding in our sun visor. Now that we've removed the fastener from inside here and the sun visor, we're gonna go ahead and pull this entire plastic down. With that removed, it's gonna give us access so we can release the clip and pull out our A-pillar. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove our rear view mirror. There's gonna be a small access door on the back that we're gonna open so that we can unclip our wire harness. And then we're gonna have one T20 screw that's holding the mirror to the windshield mount. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our mirror monitor. We're gonna start by loosening up the screw on the bottom here so that we can slide it over our mount on the windshield. So once it's loose, we're gonna go ahead and slip this on the windshield. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up that screw. Now that our mirror is mounted, we can go ahead and start running our cable. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull this top plastic down so that we can finish routing our cables. Now that we have our cable plugged into our mirror, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this top piece back into place and finish running the wire down the A-pillar. I'm gonna use a couple pieces of tape to hold this cable in place just so it doesn't get in the way when we go to reassemble the Jeep. So now that we have our mirror wire routed down here, along with our camera wire that we ran, we're gonna go ahead and fish both of those through the side of the dash here behind the glove box. And then we're gonna secure them to the factory wire harness at the top so that they stay out of the way of everything. We're gonna go ahead and keep routing our wires behind the dash over here so that we can get to the 12 volt plug and get power for our camera and monitor. Now that we have our wires run up to the dash here, we're gonna go ahead and start making some connections. First, we're gonna go ahead and just plug the camera in. It does have a notch that you have to line up. Make sure you get it right there. And then next is gonna be our power connections. In your kit, you're gonna find this little T-harness that's gonna plug into the 12 volt socket. On this Jeep, there's a USB plug in place of the 12 volt socket. So our plug is just in the dash here and we're gonna plug in. In your case, if you still have that 12 volt socket, you wanna plug into that and then plug it back into the socket. And then you're gonna to have to go ahead and crimp the power and the ground onto the connectors here. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a heat gun to heat up these connectors to seal the connections. So now we have all the connections that we're gonna need for today's install. We do also provide you with a trigger wire and a secondary camera input. If you had another backup camera on your Jeep, or you could use a switch and trigger this to do a front camera. Um, basically, wherever you wanted to add another camera, you do have a secondary input to this monitor. Now that all our connections are done, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the excess wire back behind the glove box. There's not a lot of room behind this panel, so we're gonna leave the excess behind the glove box and zip tie that all up there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and gather up the rest of our wire here. I'm gonna kind of make some longer loops with it because the factory harness that runs across the top of the dash here, that's what we're gonna to wanna to secure this extra wire to. Now that we've got everything wired up, we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick test, make sure everything works before we reassemble the Jeep. That's all that it takes to put this mirror and backup camera combo into your Jeep. 
We hope you enjoyed this video, and for more videos, you can check out our website. Thanks for watching.